Good morning everybody. This morning I'm going off on an all day tour. It is called a full day tuk tuk tour. <laughs> that didn't make sense. A full day tuk tuk tour. This was $20 and it's a private tour. They're picking me up at 10 a.m. and dropping me back at about 7 p.m. after we've seen the bats. So I'm just stopping and having a quick coffee and some breakfast before I head out on my day. I think that might be my ride for today. So I've just been picked up by my tour guide, Tony, and we're off. So Tony has just explained to me that he is actually a farmer and he lives 25 kilometers outside of Batambang. And for the last four years, he has been studying in Phnom Penh, his English. He actually speaks Chinese better than he does English as a foreign language, but he is now fluent enough to be able to take tours and his English is very, very good. This is the local blacksmith. This one's for harvesting the rice, yeah? Harvesting the rice, grass. We've just stopped here at a little local market all the way along the street here. I was just saying how sad it is about all the plastic and Tony said that what happens is they put bins here and people steal the dustbins so you can't win. That is a bamboo they cut from the jungle, you know, from here about nearly 70 or 80 kilometers from here. That's for flowering. But food is a lot of bamboo around here. Mm -hmm. That's easy for people. They are transport. Okay. Very good. So the bamboo important. Like uh, the bamboo for drink coffee, you know, drink rice wine and drink tea or water, everything, you know? Yeah. It's like a use coconut shell as well. Coconut shell and bamboo. Ah, okay. And now the bamboo, the lady get the clean it up, clean it up. That uh, they make the like sticky rice, black bean coconut milk, salt and palm sugar. They make together. Ah, oh, okay. So they get it, put it in. And yeah. then they use butter and leaf for cover. Wrap it. Butter and leaf. So they have wrapped butter and leaf and then just put it in cover. They get covered. So they cook here. For one hour cook here. For one hour. Until the black bamboo. So they turn, turn it upside down. Like this, the black man turn it upside down. After that, very good cook. The lady get her slide down, you know? The lady get slide down. Slide down, you take it out, and clean it up. And the lady can slide down. You get a slide down. Yeah. This. This is part of the bamboo. Get it for fire again. And you get a, this one, you can break it up, break it up, and then you can peel it. Get it out. It's 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 and then, and then you can taste. No for snack. You know? Wow. The family, uh, <clears throat> that is yeah, really good. They can good. keep it two days. They can keep it two days. Two days? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. two days, tomorrow, another day. Wow. We have a place. <laughs> this is for a local made it here. Salad here. You know, some people order mm. from here as well. Very nice. Very cool.
these buildings here were used for a prison back in the war in the time of the Khmer Rouge and there's such beautiful buildings as well so one was used for the men and the other was used for the women and the children wow So there's a concrete uh, building, you know? They, they should say it's an off prison. They should say it's a prison, mean they like a interrogation, you know, mm -hmm. interrogation, and like a uh, arrested. So this pond yeah. used to be good for cooking and all drinking, and they had it right next to the kitchen. So over the years, obviously, it's become undrinkable but at the time this was their main source of drinking water and it never ran dry even in the hot season So this pool here, it's where they allowed the prisoners to bathe once a week, but they also um, emptied all the human feces into this river as well. So although they were bathing, it was bathing in dirt. Wow, that was tough. So we're leaving the killing fields behind and we're headed out more into the country now to go and have a look and see how they farm. This is guava growing on the trees, but they put bags over them so that the fruit bats and birds don't come and eat. So after that they get a later they have pink yeah. and brown. Wow. Pink and brown colour. So they grow, they live with another tree, wrap with another tree. You cannot live alone. So that live can't alone. live alone, it's got to live on another tree. Live another tree, wrap another tree. So this plant here, which is this here, it's called Sanawal and it's very bitter. It's the same one as I tried when I went to Anchor Watts, but it's good for malaria, so it helps you drink and get better. So the scarecrows outside the front of different buildings and farms, they were started to be put there for COVID. It's to take the bad spirits away and encourage the good spirits to come in. So this house here is one of the oldest. It was from the time of when the French were here, so over a hundred years, but when the war broke out, the parents were killed and there is a shrine there. This is very much like the bridge in Ne Trang when I did the uh, day trip. If you haven't seen the video, do check it out. I think that's the one I went with with um, Monkey Boy. Wow, look at that. It's very wobbly. So this used to be a fishing village on this side, but when they bought the, built the bridge, evidently the fish went away and never came back. So now it's mainly fruit farming. Right, time to walk back across the bridge. I'm walking quick just in case the motorbike comes. 
How lucky am I? This is absolutely fabulous. This plant here is mimosa and it smells amazing and you put it in soups or egg but it smells like chicken soup. It's really good. Okay, we got caught in a little bit of rain, <laughs> but we've got to the end of the line and we're just waiting for them to turn it round so that we can head back. Okay. Okay, so I think what they're doing now is actually turning it round so that they can, we can go back the other way. The station there with just nothing there basically, that was destroyed by the Khmer Rouge during the troubles. Somebody's coming the other way. Now what happens? So what happens? They just completely move the entire train. We go through and then they put it all back together again. Ingenious. That was amazing. Even with the driving rain, it was so much fun. So if you want to go with other people, it is $5. And if you want a um, little compartment on your own, it's $10. But yeah, that was so nice. I went with Ariel and Dave from New York. And I want to say, Big thank you to them for the drone footage. We've come to this little local house here and we're eating duck eggs and they are amazing. And they serve them with this, which is lime juice and pepper. And it's so nice. Wow. This is the, the fish the, fish paste. Yeah, the yeah? fish paste. Fish with garlic, chili, sugar. Yeah. So they have like onion, sometimes a little bit onion. Lemongrass with the last one with sweet basil as well. Mm. Sweet basil, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is yeah. barbecued rat. And in the tub over there, that is rice wine. So I have my barbecued rat and my rice wine. <laughs> That's quite strong. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh wow. It's actually really nice. Barbecue rat. Who knew? Just up behind me here is something called the Back Cave and at about 6, 6.30 evidently all the bats fly out and come out to eat all the insects. But before that we're going to walk up to the Killing Caves.
Oh my God, here we go. The path that we went up is the easy path, but this is the one that the Khmer Rouge brought people up from the village. And then they brought them to this building here for three days and starved them and beat them before bringing them down and killing them in the cave. Children that way? Yeah. The parents that way and educate people that way. Okay. And there's like a classes, engineer, everything. First they kill children. So they used to bring them down here, separate the adults and the children. There's a, they're full of children. And the parents oh, wow. watch, watching, you know. The parents would stand here and watch their children being taken to that pit where those people are standing, and then the adults would be led down here. So we're all just starting to gather here because the bats are starting to come out now and there's evidently 6.1 million bats in that cave. Those bats were amazing. So the sun has now set and we're headed back into town so that I can go and have a shower and go to bed after a truly amazing day. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like the video. See you in the next one.